We should discuss the best supplements to eliminate plaque from your veins. At the point when I discuss plaque, I'm discussing three things. The blend of cholesterol, a specific sort of protein that makes the fibrosis. What's more, we're discussing calcium. These are the three fixings to frame a bandage. At the point when you have irritation or on the other hand, some sort of issue in, within your vein. The principal thing to know is there's two kinds of plaque. There's delicate plaque, and afterward there's hard plaque or calcified plaque. They're both incredibly unique. The delicate plaque is truly shaky. It's more hazardous. The hard plaque, the more thick plaque, the more steady, the less hazardous. The delicate plaque is multiple times as normal as the calcified plaque. At the point when you get a CAC test, they give you a score. Furthermore, this score truly addresses the amount of plaque you possess in your veins, essentially, the calcified plaque. In light of the fact that a great deal of the delicate plaque is engaged with the transforming into calcified plaque that doesn't appear on a CAC score. Presently, there's something many refer to as a CAC oddity, where you could find that your CAC score goes up in the wake of changing your eating routine. Cleaning up the terrible stuff and beginning to get solid, the score could go up. Well, what's going on? It's not deteriorating. You're simply switching a greater amount of that delicate plaque over completely to hard plaque where it turns out to be more steady. Furthermore, there's a few different tests that you can do, which I will make sense of toward the end. That will assist you with distinguishing a greater amount of the delicate plaque. In light of the fact that that CAC test truly isn't the most ideal test to get this delicate, hazardous, shaky plaque. Be that as it may, I will discuss what tests you ought to do about this, to survey this issue in a second. You, as a rule, have something many refer to as glycation associated with it. What is glycation? It's where you have a sugar and a protein that gets remained together. As that is engaged with a specific protein that sort of secures up and makes issues and irritation in your body. This delicate plaque is typically associated with more oxidation. Okay. Particularly of the LDL. Also, I'm not discussing LDL overall. I'm discussing the one that is more pathogenic. There's two sorts of LDL. There's the LDL that is a lot more modest. It's known as the little thick LDL. Okay, that is the more risky sort, the more pathogenic sort versus the other LDL, which is altogether different. It's the huge light sort, and it's not the pathogenic kind. You simply need to understand there's two kinds. I will show you an extremely straightforward method for utilizing what they give you on your blood test to figure out what kind of LDL you have. The first, it's a long name, myeloperoxidase. The following one is LP run PLA2. So those are the two biomarkers that help get, assuming you have this delicate plaque. Presently, another test that most likely would be far and away superior, on the off chance that you can do this. What's more, it's a moderately reasonable, speedy, painless test. It's ultrasound of your carotids. Furthermore, that gives like a 98.6% expectation of having the issue. There's another truly significant qualities to take a gander at as well. Is your HDL alright? You believe that should go up. HDL will in general tidy up that pathogenic awful LDL. The following thing you need to see on the low side is fatty substances. Since, supposing that the fatty substances are high, then you can basically realize the individuals consuming such a large number of carbs. Presently, there's another test that in the event that you can get this. It's a great approach to surveying. What's actually the deal with these lipids? Okay. Also, it's called lipoprotein insulin opposition. On the off chance that you end up getting a blood test and you can demand this, it'd mean a lot to know where your number is at. Since out of the variables, that is, all's the one that is the most connected with cardiovascular atherosclerosis. 
Okay, so presently how about we examine how one can sort out whether or not they have the little thick particles for the LDL versus the enormous light, all right. Without doing that test, what you do is you partition the LDL by something different called APOB. A piece of the lipoprotein demonstrates the quantity of particles. Preferably, we maintain that it should be more noteworthy than 1.2, which will show enormous light, LDL, which is the non-pathogenic rendition. Presently, that is all exceptionally intriguing and a piece complex. So I need to bounce into what supplements can assist with eliminating this plaque. Okay, well, the initial to supplements are number one, pycnogenol. That is pine park. You'd need to take 150 mg pick. Knob helps convert the delicate plaque to the calcified plaque, where it turns out to be more steady, and furthermore, it forestalls the development of plaque. What's more, the following one is called go to cola. You'd need to take 450 mg of go to cola. Go to cola helps upgrade the capability of pycnogenol so it will assist this transformation with seriously penning plaque. It will likewise forestall the development of plaque. Number 3 cure is vitamin K2, which is the most powerful inhibitor of vascular calcification. It essentially prevents the calcification from happening in your veins. I wouldn't suggest taking vitamin K2 in micrograms. I would suggest taking it in milligrams. Furthermore, I've glanced around to track down an enhancement that, that will give you the sums in milligrams. There's relatively few, and I for one, don't have an item like that. What's more, I don't have no affiliations or relationship with whatever other organizations that do. Aside from I found one organization that has it gives it, it's life expansion, it's called Super K2, I'll put that connection down beneath. So the following cure is natokinase. Natokinase can assist with diminishing the thickness of the carotid wall. Also, the last cure is called niacin. Try not to get the supported delivery one. Get the one that makes the flush. I realize certain individuals could do without that, yet to the extent that cholesterol goes, it is what you want. Presently, I'm not pushing that. You take simply a great deal of sustenance. I'm giving you the ones that are the most strong. I'm likewise going to discuss a few different ones next, that additionally make a few astonishing impacts for plaque wing. I simply need to make reference to them, since I would rather not forget about them. Tocotrienols helps decline aggravation of the supply roots. It's a kind of vitamin E. Berberine is a great one. You have additionally matured garlic. You have magnesium and potassium that assists with mellowing the veins, assuming they're solid and unbending. And afterward you have vitamin D, which is an extremely intense calming. Truly great for the conduits, great as an enemy of plaque wing nutrient. Thus, I put a ton of the references that I discussed down underneath. Look at them, however, assuming you might want to know the best dinner or food sources to assist you with keeping away from plaque wing i put that video up here look at it 